I'm in our beautiful church, obviously, and I just got done spending an hour in our adoration chapel. I've been coming over here because um, there's some people working on my house, so I'm not always able to do my prayer time over there. Uh, but you know, as I was sitting in there, it was just such a great gift. Um, it's a rainy day, the rain's coming down softly outside. Uh, I was praying with the sequence for the uh, Pentecost, which is this coming Sunday. And as I was praying with it, um, the words of this sequence, which we will all say before the gospel, um, inviting the Holy Spirit in saying, come and fill these hearts of ours, our inmost being fill. What a beautiful phrase. And especially if we really mean it, if we're really inviting the Holy Spirit in. And I was also thinking about the gift of contemplation. Contemplation is a gift that God gives us of being with him in his presence and of knowing, of sensing his presence. It's um, like if you ever remember times as a child when you were just spending time with your parents or your, or your grandparents and just being with them. It's that gift of being with God, our Father. And it's a gift given to us by the Holy Spirit. Um, we can't achieve contemplation on our own, uh, but we can prepare for it. And it's really a precious and sometimes seems like a fragile gift. I know um, if your life is hectic, um, if things are changing, if, if things seem unstable and difficult, um, if you don't have that much time, it can seem really um, ephemeral. It seems like, oh, I, I can't grasp this gift of contemplation. Uh, and then as I was sitting in there praying, um, having this, this great gift of, of God's presence, all of a sudden I hear drip, drip, drip uh, from the ceiling. We've got a little leak in the ceiling, which we'll fix. It's no big deal. You know, these are the things that happen in life. But um, it seems sometimes like this gift that God wants to give us uh, escapes us. If you have kids, um, you know, there's those precious calm moments when you're sitting with them or maybe you're, you're holding your, your child in your lap uh, or maybe you're holding your baby as he or she is sleeping. Uh, and sometimes those just seem to escape um, as quickly as they come. But what's important to the Lord, what's important to the Lord is that we desire this gift of contemplation, that we work for it. The way we work for it is by setting aside time, by setting aside focus and attention, uh, and by intentionally meditating, especially on the words of Scripture. Um, and when we're aware of this gift of contemplation, this gift of just being with God's presence, of, of enjoying it, um, when we're aware of it, that we welcome it. Those are the things that we do, um, and that shows God that we desire it. And that's what's important to God. Not necessarily that we always feel God's presence, um, but in those moments, you know, setting aside time to come into this adoration chapel or setting aside a time and space in your home to pray. And then from there, you know, those moments again when maybe uh, you're holding your baby or um, I know I've talked to farmers as they're combining their fields um, or they're riding in their tractor or uh, people who go to work early in the morning, they're driving down the road and they see the sun come up. God comes to us in those moments. He stirs up our hearts often, and we receive this gift of contemplation. And we should savor it, and we should welcome it. Um, when it goes away, that's okay. Uh, what's most important to God is that we love him and that we desire to be with him. And when we do enjoy these moments, what we should remember is that these are foretastes of heaven. This is God's promise to us. This is just a teeny tiny little bit of what God wants to give us. And finally, what the church teaches us about contemplation is that it is the ordinary path to holiness. It's not something just for nuns and monks uh, sitting in their, uh, in their convents and monasteries. It's not just something for priests. It's something for every single baptized Christian who is able to pray. It's something for every one of us, this gift of contemplation. Uh, the best way to prepare for contemplation is to practice Lexio Divina, as we've talked about. Um, again, contemplation isn't something that we can make, our, make happen. It's not something that we can create on our own, but it is a gift from our loving God and our loving Father. And as we prepare for Pentecost, let's all invite the Holy Spirit in, invite the Holy Spirit to stir up our hearts so that we can have this great gift of contemplation. Come, Holy Spirit, fill these hearts of yours. Fill our inmost being. Thanks, guys. Pray for me. I'll pray for you.